for all things mortgage and real estate related. The show <laughs> that brings you all the hottest topics and insight directly from those who know it most. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Mm, what is up, everyone? Paul Poslakis, <laughs> Salvatore Cusvato, Brad Weisger. We are inside real estate. We have some really special guests today. Brad and Ryan Wolf with Holland Hunter Realtors. There's more to it, right? It's Hall, like uh, Holland Hunter uh, Realtors. You that's it. it. I just yeah, I nailed it. All right, yeah. Good. All right, uh, Ryan, get up. Put it in your mouth, man. All right, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's weird. Uh, so yeah, uh, t- you know, it's gonna be a fun show today. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about your business, how you guys got into it. You guys are brothers. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a family thing that you guys have going on. It's good. You're very Trump-esque <laughs> with your look today. I don't know if anybody ever brings that up, but uh, no. you, 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 you look like you could be related. <laughs> uh, hopefully you're not. <laughs> you might be a man. Like burn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just lost <laughs> half wow. of the wow. out there. There goes everybody. Start off, uh, not exactly. Uh, anyways. Um, so today, I w- yeah, again, I, w- I want to get into your story. I do want to talk. There's a weird thing that's happening. I don't know if you guys saw. There's, like, there's a, a lawsuit being had against uh, NAR and a few other people about the compensation for... Uh, uh, buyers agents, uh, they're saying that they they've been overcompensated. So we'll talk a little bit about that. We'll talk about the market, but let's get into you guys right now. Tell tell us tell the audience a little bit about because obviously, I mean, it's funny, Ryan. You actually did mortgages. You've been at kind yeah. of title mortgages. You kind of been I've, in every part of it. And you just you, yeah. you, I don't know. You've just gone straight to the real estate. Yeah, side. I've been yeah, yeah doing real estate half my life. Yeah. Half half your life. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> pretty close. So like five over, five years, five half. ten years, right? <laughs> a yeah. little over half my life. So, uh, so talk to us about your story, guys. I mean, obviously, your father um, it, it championed the, the the business for a long time, and, and yep. he's got a great yep. reputation in the industry. And obviously, for you guys, it, was, it seems like a natural fit for you guys to go into the business. So, talk to us about how you guys got into yeah. it, and you guys Bet. both have lived through the downturn. So, that's always interesting to talk about. Definitely, yeah. Bet. Well, we we uh, definitely grew up in it and, and had a lot of dinner table conversations about real estate. So it was your whole our, life. It was right? in our blood. It yeah. was something that. Even if we didn't know, it's something that we we're kind of grown up in, and uh, and trained to, to to love. So I got into the business. Brad initially got into real estate uh, out of school. I think he was a, had a different job for a year or so, um, but it was inevitable that he was going to get into real estate. Yeah. And then uh, I came out, and I didn't want to compete against my brother, but yet real estate was was kind of my focus that I wanted to get into. So I got into the title insurance business for a couple of years with, with uh, Devon Title, a local yeah. title company. They do a good job, too. Yeah, Which was fun. It was great. Became yeah. a closer, got to learn the documentation of the whole process. The mm-hmm. mortgage side, the real estate side, it, it gave me a great basis to, to go from. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, got into the mortgage business. I was Crazy. in the mortgage Why business for a little <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm going to talk good about it's it. It's easy no, and good money, yeah, right? That's what they all say. Yeah, but it's easy, really easy money. Easy money. I get, got stress. into it when it was great yeah. and then went no through, the, through the downturns. But I learned a ton about it. And it was, I want to say it was about 12 or 13 years in the mortgage side. But the whole time I knew I wanted to get into real estate. That was my focus. And the reason I didn't do it any, any earlier is you have a pipeline growing. You, 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 you kind of worried about leaving something and starting something new. That's always um, tough, yeah. So so yeah, yeah. I finally did it, and I love it. It's awesome. And then I get to work with this guy who's my yeah, best many, friend. So that's pretty years, cool. Are you guys best friends, really? Are you guys yeah. get along? Yeah, yeah, we do get yeah. along. That's good. We yeah, did it's, it's when we so were young. It's so incestual. We live uh, an eighth of a mile from each other. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, our parents live about an eighth of a mile from us. And not only that, we vacation together, we work together, and... Uh, We'll still call each other for beers. Yeah, so, yeah, we're we're pretty close. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a Which good thing. Good, though. Yeah, we hate is. each other. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I can tell. I can tell. Yeah. Right, right. So that's awesome. I think the the, the more just the, the, the all that experience in the industry prior to even getting into real estate, I feel is very very valuable because you kind of understand all facets. And I think Definitely. a lot of agents, unfortunately, don't even really have a good grasp on the the lending side or the finance side. It's tough for them to even wrap their... They just think it happens. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? It just, oh, yeah. where's my money? And it happens oh, right. Right. Which it never... No, there's what's always... Take, what's well, taking so long on the pre-approval? The, yeah. Like, three-second <laughs> yeah. process? Because we're trying to do it right, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah. self-employed. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't, you know, they, they don't want to know. The agents don't right. want to know the process until there's a, a serious situation. And, and then they want to know, you know, what happened and yeah. why. And, yeah. and and so you, eventually you have to know both sides. you gotta, so you, you got to at least know enough. You do. Right. right. Just like us. Right. Like, I mean, Sal, so we have to know enough on the real estate side just to, yeah. you know, you, to understand both yeah, sides. Yeah, for sure. It. It's, you know, like I, what's taking so long to negotiate <laughs> the foundation issue? Sure. You know, if you didn't like, understand well, the well, real estate they get, process, you're, you yeah. Yeah. make it a Where's lot more addendum? difficult. Where's the addendum? Yeah. We yeah. need to close. <laughs> we know. It just but doesn't it's, work that way. It's also, it's a hard, I think a lot of people try to act like the other 
professional. Like like a real estate guy will try to they'll know stay a lot of the It's, it's like stay in your lane. lane. Well, that's the thing. It's like you can go enough to talk about it and, and understand and, and possibly you mm-hmm. know, find out any issues that might happen or, or be able to kind of insight on some stuff. But I always say talk to the professional. Call your right. lender. Yeah. Call the title company, but I can definitely help you out as far as the process from how I I've think seen that's it go. Really important because so, if yeah. someone asks me a real, I might know the answer or even have a good. Vi- yeah. But I don't want to give the wrong. I mean, ultimately, the client needs to get serviced the best way, and yep. me giving them any real estate advice, like how should I negotiate? No, I mean, that's not yeah. me, man. You, you have a professional. <laughs> that's why you have a real estate agent. Handle, right. like I'm not the. Well, what is this? Talk to your. What about this? Con- no, talk to your guy, right? Yeah. And also, yeah. Yeah. real estate agents, you know, when they give an estimate of closing costs, it's like. Man, it, for better or worse, right? way different than what. That? Yeah, because yeah, exactly. it's like you know, every no matter who the lender is, they got different or fees, agents, different ways yeah. to do it. Schedule the closing before. Yeah, can you, can I ask you that? Why, why the <laughs> fuck do you guys schedule the closing before <laughs> we have a clear to close? <laughs> <laughs> the only yeah. you know you know why? Well, it, it, and I'm not suggesting this is the right way, but. Um, the title companies are typically pressuring us, like, we mm-hmm. got to get it on the books. we got to get it on yeah. the books. Yeah. If, we don't put, if we don't get it on the books, then yeah. we may not have the, the, that the date, date available. So, yeah, I see that. So, yeah. they, so the, the agent, <clears throat> not not so much the brokerage, but the agent uh, specifically or, or the buyer yeah. uh, may say, well, well, let's just get it scheduled. We could always postpone. Yeah. So then it puts pressure. But that never happens. Right? They, you they guys. schedule it, and they're like, well, why aren't we close? Yeah, I'm like, well, well that's, that's true. And the that's, client calls. Well, what happens a, a lot is close? we'll get an email from title. Yeah. And yeah. are you clear to close yet? No, we're, we're not at yeah. this moment. We're expecting we're close, it in the right. next day, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And then somehow I'll get a scheduling email yeah. and a call from, like, a listing agent. Oh, yeah. we heard we're clear to, <laughs> clear to close. I'm like, no, <laughs> tomorrow. Or yeah, usually yeah. by the time we get yeah. the call, we are. But well, I think it's you very... You know, knowing that, see, you know, these are good conversations because knowing that we can go back. We have a in-house title company. We can, yeah. you know, discuss those, yeah, those guys concerns. Don't do that. <laughs> it's, yeah. Right? Well, it's so, all about the relationship right. and the team, you, right? You the more there's you. communication and it's like, hey, n- no problem. You know, you can move this up a week. We can schedule it. Yeah. We're right. going to be good to go, right? But. Right. Well, sometimes you you ride the lightning on the deals yeah. until the very end, and puts, that that puts happens, right? Unnecessary pressure and, and, yeah. and un, uh, 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 false expectations out there. That's the thing. It, it, we're really big on creating the proper expectations. Even though I think I'm going to be clear to close, and we're probably going to be able to do it. Right. You, in our business, on our side, a million things could happen, mm-hmm. right? There's so many like mind. <clears throat> it's a minefield, right? And you're trying to navigate it. Mm-hmm. So I'm always very leery. I always. Uh, air, like caution on the on the side of like uh, air on the side of caution because I don't want to screw something up. Um, anyways, so uh, Brett, you tell me about how you. I mean, obviously, you just went straight to real estate. Yeah, for for the most part, I was uh, at a marketing <coughs> firm for about a year out okay. of college, and um, it, long and short of it is is that uh, decided I wasn't happy there, yeah. and um, that was right about the same time. Dennis, my father, our dad, uh, was moving our two offices into our current location, downtown Birmingham. And he said, I'll tell you what, Brad, why don't you come coordinate the move? He didn't want to pack up all the boxes, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you, <laughs> why don't you come coordinate, coordinate the move, right? <laughs> we, thank God we only had two two or three computers uh, in the office yeah. at that time. This is back in 1997. Tower computers are like this. Yeah. yeah right. And uh, come coordinate the move. I'll, I'll pay you. And... Uh, you could go out and interview from you know during the day, and I said, okay, great. So I I started doing that packing boxes and realizing, oh, it, it, uh, with that being said, I had my real estate license. I got my real estate license a little early after on. I got yeah early on yeah. And so then um, all of a sudden, my buddies started calling me. I was 22 years old. My buddies started calling me saying, hey, you know, are you you're you you said you're working at Hall and Hunter now, and you know I want to buy a house. Can you help me? And I, well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, my first sale, twenty-two years old. I thought, wow, this is pretty decent money. And then I looked around the office and I realized the real successful agents are very successful, doing, well. doing yeah. real well. And I liked it. I thought, boy, I could be out making money, hanging out with my buddies, selling them their first homes, yeah. driving around. It got you real know, sexy telling, real fast. Telling, yeah. jokes, <laughs> telling jokes out of the office yeah. on a summer day and, and making money showing houses. And then and, uh, fell in love with it. That's and awesome. The rest is history. That was that was 20, 22 years ago. You've seen a lot in those twenty two years. Yeah, yeah, it's been yeah, wild. Sure. And and your and your father, I, I don't want to <clears> skip over him. I mean, he started the whole thing. How long ago was that? He actually he bought into the business. He bought Hall and Hunter in nineteen eighty two. Yeah, and uh, and I didn't realize this, Rye. You probably caught it as well. Uh, we just had our recent award ceremony a couple weeks ago, and uh, 
he had a very uh, small part in the program, and uh, he was while he was talking during the awards uh, breakfast, he had mentioned the first year when he bought the business in 1982, their total volume, his total volume <laughs> was eight million dollars for the whole for the whole office. Wow. And just last year, we did a little over 400 million. So it tells you where he's taking wow. it. Wow, so that's it's, a big. Um, yeah. I mean, think about that. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty wild, so, man. So he. Wild. It's been success. I mean, you guys have a really good brand in the area. I mean, you guys are located in Birmingham, Michigan, which is a really nice. I mean, it's like the Manhattan of Michigan. Like, it's, like it's, by the way, competitive. It's, it's competitive really competitive. competitive. You guys right. have a lot of agents that want yeah. to be a piece of that pie. Yeah. Right. So, how do you guys yeah. navigate? I mean, how do you set yourself apart in this really crowded, noise-filled room where everybody's kind of vying for everybody's attention? It's it's yeah. difficult in today's world to kind of set yourself apart, really. Mm-hmm. So, what do, what do you guys do as far as that goes? Well, I think it, it, as far as uh, people do ask, they're like, holy cow, there's literally a real estate company on every corner in this little square mile area in Birmingham. Yeah, bro. And there is, and there's thousands of agents. But there's enough business to go around and, and not don't get caught up in, in what everyone else is doing. Get caught up in what you're doing. Yeah. And wh- where's your niche? What Where's yeah. your, what are you delivering to your clients? Where's your sphere of influence and what are they doing? I think so many people with technology nowadays get so worried about everyone else mm-hmm. and, and don't worry about themselves or worry about their sphere of influence. They worry about the people that they're not getting. Yeah. It's like, don't mm-hmm. worry about the people you have. Yep. Continue to stay in touch with them. They're the ones that are going to grow your business. They're the ones that are loyal to you. Um, but from yeah, our end, as far you, as a company. stand out, you know, what yeah. makes us different, we, we, really. We have our niche, and we, we, we try to push that niche. And, it, and we're not saying that we're better than everyone else or everyone else is better than us, but we, we believe in what we have and, and, and what we deliver as far as a product to the um, clients out there. And it's something that, that we're big on, on a full-service real estate company. We believe our agents are best out, are best in the best situation doing what they do best, which is listing and selling yeah. real estate. It's not... Yeah. It's not at back of the office, sitting on a computer, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. in front of a desk. So we deliver more of a full service um, uh, product as far as from our end. Yeah, I mean, so, so it kind of echoes your philosophy on that a lot. Like, you know, sometimes well, I personally, like, I'm vindictive, <laughs> and I'm like, I want, I want to kill them. And so I was like, <laughs> dude, they don't matter. Right? Yeah. It kind of yeah. shuts me. Well, down. I, yeah. you know, a lot of people, to your point, they go really wide yeah. with their relationships. Right? I want to work with everyone. Yeah. Right? And it's mm-hmm. like, well. In doing so, right, like that, the, what you have, you have to go deep with, right? Mm-hmm. Or someone else will, and and you'll, they'll be gone. Yeah, right. And it's very so. true. Yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, it, like you, like you said, it's it's a super <clears throat> crowded field. But to your point, it's a pretty big pie, man. It is right. There's a lot of there's there's thousands of transactions happening like right mm-hmm. now, right? Yep. And and worrying about what that other guy's doing. I mean, great. It's exactly. good to have goals and people that you want to be, but like to like. To make that your focus, you kind of lose the focus of like like if we just worried about what everybody else was doing. Sell, I don't think we'd be successful because we just have to do, like we have yeah. to own what we do, right? Yeah, no. Well, we've right. we've had uh, you're absolutely right. I I agree with you, Paul. I you know we've had a lot of conversations over the last year or two uh, because we have our, our office, Ryan and I, our dad. We've been going through some transitions as to. You know who's steering the ship? Where are we going? What's yeah. the future of Holland yeah. Hunter? So we've had a lot of those conversations, and it and it they continue to bring us back to who we are. You know what what do we do best? Um, what sets us apart from our competitors? Yeah, and then let's build on that. And yeah. um, the the fun thing is is that we are definitely different, and I think we're one of the only or one of the last independent real estate companies. Mm-hmm. We're not a franchise, so yeah. you know things like that. That uh, how does that so in your mind how is that an advantage on some level right well it it really goes back down to uh, all the way down to you know control of our brand you know we we know Birmingham we've been here for sixty five years the company right. has been our brand has been um, so we know we know Birmingham and we can change with the market we can change with our local market and um, um, it it really is. Quality over quantity. We're, we're never mm. interested in having the most offices on every corner in in uh, America. We're we're not interested in having the most agents. We're focused on having the very best agents. Yeah, you know we're we have ninety agents in the office, but uh, which may sound like a lot, it's not. Not you know, one, speaking. Yeah, one of one of the smaller companies in town. But but what that what that means is uh, on top of that, our our agents on average sell more volume. Than any other uh, agent in our in our local market. Yeah. Um, so it's again quality, quality, quality. 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 Yeah. 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 Th- I mean, there's two ways you can look at it. These some of these places, <laughs> look. Some places have like hundreds of, yeah. of agents. They don't care who you. If you have a pulse, like you're in. Right. Like mm-hmm. I right. like. 
you can work here. Like, yeah. here's the phone book. Go make some calls because we don't care because yeah. we're just going to make money off you. So, like, you know, I think we talk about that. Like, we do not want to hire people. Time. It's just a, it's a drain yeah. to have all these people. Like, it takes manpower. It takes well, you resources. Have, you have, Go ahead. I was going to say, you got, like, the big, <laughs> like, the big house brokerages that mm-hmm. just there's 300 plus agents right mm-hmm. and they just kind of like people come people go whatever they got teams they got this they got that right and then the the boutique or the small side right you either got like lead shops that do all zillow and everything mm-hmm. like that and it's like an assembly line with with low splits and all that and then you have the people who are quality and go out and get the business how and do you guys feel about zillow buy. Zillow, you know what's funny? I think there's 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 two types of agents with Zillow. There's the agent that hates Zillow, and the, there's the agent that that loves Zillow uh-huh. and, and buys a ton of leads. Yeah. And, and do I believe in the leads from Zillow? Saying they're good or bad, there's the right agent that does get get leads That's from right. Zillow, it and takes, it works. It, it just takes depends the right on who agent. it is. It's yeah. not everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's a but good point. I, I think the biggest thing in my outlook on Zillow is it's not going anywhere. It's right. not leaving us. We're not going to knock it down. We're not going to. We're not going <laughs> to no. shut it out. You're you not affecting learn. what Zillow no. does. Yeah, I mean, right. they're so <laughs> no. big. We have to learn how to work with Zillow, and there's so much positive that we can take from Zillow. Mm-hmm. That um, I think so many people get crowded and, and, and fogged up about. Oh, Zillow's doing this. We need to stop them. We need to stop them. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Figure and out how to learn. You need to look at the positive side of it. all. And right. glasses half full versus half well, empty. It's and, a way and better. I think attitude. the difference yeah. is working with it as yeah. opposed to being exactly. dependent on it, though. Yeah, because that's, that's the true. biggest thing. Yeah, a lot of people set their businesses up on huge lead buys from Realtor.com, Zillow, this, that. It gets crazy expensive, and those prices oh, fluctuate yeah. every month. Ten G's a month, yeah. you know, for a mid-sized team, and it's like, yeah, it's okay. A, but you know, and and Rye, you're absolutely right. It you could spend as much money as the next guy in on Zillow, but I but I'll tell you, if you don't know how to work those leads, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It's a, yeah. It, 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 again, it's all about how you utilize the tool and, and acting like it doesn't exist or that it's the you know we're gonna, gonna like you rolled. said yeah. we're gonna take it down. If you, you got to just evolve well, within lead, the it's sure multiple people calling it anyway. So it's sure, speed yeah. to lead. It's constant contact, and at the end of it all, yeah. you don't really have a relationship. Well, right? and, and and I you think can build you hit it, the right? nail right on the head and. Uh, that relationship word has is, is been something that's been real important to us um, and it has been talked about recently quite often. Uh, I'm, I guess maybe I'm old school in the, in the way that I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not a real big component of, of lead generation, mm-hmm. and, but we have agents in the office that uh, believe in it, that work it, and, uh, and it works for them. Um, I personally like the relationship yeah. selling side yeah. of it and building relationships and depending on them for referrals and referral. What's well, stronger than a referral, right? Right. I mean, yeah. right. Yep. And they're going out, they're growing, they're selling for you. And and I think it's funny, as Brad says, there's so many agents um, out there that are so worried about 5% of their business when 95% of their business comes from their sphere of influence mm-hmm. and they're not touching that. Yeah. They're not working on that. They're yeah. so worried about the 5% they don't get. Yeah. It's like you're spending 95% of your time on your 5%. Yeah. Reevaluate, look at it. And it, I'm not saying you shouldn't you shouldn't try to grow your business and, and look at that, but put equate the right time and, and effort right. into that amount. That, um, that that model has much more longevity too. Exactly, you're looking at a career. Then you're not looking yeah. at something I want to hit it in the next six months or a year. Well, or two yeah. years. I think they're really good agents know how to do both, right? Yeah. They, they spend exactly. most of their time with their yeah. sphere because mm-hmm. that's where most of their business comes from. Yeah. But they're open to leads, and those leads that they get. They spend the time to create a relationship yeah. to, to, to pull it to the other side, right? You're I agree 100%. Right. And that's anything in technology. You have to you have to embrace it and you have to run with it. It's done some unbelievable things in our industry, and I think there's a lot of people that have tried to push it out. But it's it's here, and it's yeah. it's, it's it's created that the Learn more it. of the well, – it's more of an aggressive culture as far as how real estate goes, and it's a faster pace, but it's awesome. I mean, you look at how much yeah. it's done for our industry. Mm-hmm. It's it's opened up a lot. It's it's opened up a lot for the the customers, which I think a lot of people forget about, and a lot of the agents forget about. How is it going to make me better? How is it going to make my life easier? And we're in a customer based business. It doesn't a lot of about you, forget dude. about it. Nobody it's not cares. about <laughs> you. No, yeah. it's like it's so right. it, yeah. how yeah. can you facilitate these clients better? And that's the main thing that yeah. I think a lot of these agents forget about. It takes a long time to to figure that out <laughs> too, and get that. When you have a business, you have a business, right? Like yeah. it's these guys that, for us on our side, leave like a Quicken Loans or a Loan Depot or something yeah. like that. They're like, I've closed five thousand loans in the past. Yeah. You know. 10 years, Nobody cares, blah, blah, blah. No one, yeah. Nobody Look at my reward and my bobblehead. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> I got this. What agents do you work with? Yeah. Well, 
Hey, where's it going to come tomorrow? Yeah. I, don't um, like yeah. <laughs> I don't like agents. Yeah, I don't like agents. I don't need them. Oh, yeah. All right, bro. Oh, okay. Good luck. What do you guys there, offer? What type of leads do you guys offer? We don't. Yeah. yeah. Go down. talk to someone. Yeah. Pick up your phone yeah. and make some friends, dude. Well, I think you're going to see the industry go back here in the next year or two. I think it's going to, you know, it 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 really took a, a flip side and it went to more of a unit based industry. As far as on real estate side, how many units are you popping through? What are you doing? I think we're going to see it get back more to a relationship based business. And, mm. and what are you offering these clients? And the, I'm not saying it's going to be hand holding, but I think you're going to see kind of that rubber band effect come service. into play more. Yeah. Service you, you, is going to be more, white more important. Yeah, you're going to have that. Much that's more white gloves. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I, that's that's something, that's what our niche is. That's, well, that's, that's something that that's we That's the only way to really combat important. the technology, right? Because what's the one thing technology is lacking? Yeah, that's right. Is that service, that service. white glove good feeling service you got to marry the two dude yeah you, you have got to, you gotta have you both you can't yeah. have well, one or the other i think today. before that happens there'll be a larger divide of yes. people who use it's technology true. at mm-hmm. lower margins right or lower it's good. they're always going to be there right? and, yep. yeah like that might become more efficient than it is today and people do that but i mm-hmm. think that a lot of people will still gravitate towards the, the full service side with the you know sure yeah. They need to know what's going on, and yeah. a robot can't do that for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's it's enough a, out there for everybody. There's a lot. There's That's what people don't get. The pie's huge, <laughs> dude. Unless you own 80% market share, yeah. you don't have to worry about anybody else, dude. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, I mean, no. even like Quicken owns like like 5% market share, right? And they're I think the it's seven and a half last year. Whatever yeah, it is, wow. right? It's huge. Which yeah. is huge, <laughs> but huge. ultimately, it's just seven and a half percent are like the largest, right? Right. Three percent fight. You're yeah. Fighting over so something. I don't know many people that own more than like five percent of the market share. So no. just work on that. If you own, <laughs> you know, exactly. just get more market. If share, you own bro. half a percent, you wouldn't have any worries. No. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I mean, true. I'd be crazy. Yeah. Half yeah. a percent of market it's share. It's crazy to think that. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah. So I wanted to get into this this lawsuit. And I wanted to get you guys' opinion. So basically, this Minnesota guy is Minnesota. suing. Uh, I'm going to pull it up right now. The NAR. And uh, Remax and Keller Williams. Be, I mean, he's cre- and created a class action lawsuit, basically saying that that uh, buyers' agents are ripping off the sellers because they're taking full, you know, three percent, and they're not um, they, they're not worth three percent, basically, yeah. right? And they're forcing themselves on the seller to take the, even if they do a forced sale by owner. He's saying they have to take three percent, and he's saying their value now is not worth three percent, and they're they're basically ripping people off. Mm. So, which is interesting because I, I was actually going to talk today before I saw this article um, on the uh, when I was using the bathroom. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're at right now. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Really we're reading. actually in the bathroom right wow. now. <laughs> so, I was going to talk about how how a lot of people don't know as a buyer that that it doesn't cost them anything to have proper representation. Exactly. Right. A lot of people are like, "Well, how much is it going to cost me to have an agent?" I'm like, "Dude." It's free. Like you got to have representation. It's like being on trial and getting a free lawyer. Like you need to have the sure. proper re- representation. Mm-hmm. What? In mm-hmm. my mind, I th- it's, it's total backwards. I feel like the if I, I mean I feel like both agents on both sides deserve the cut they get because this, this is both hard work. But I would say that the listing agent does less work than a buyer's agent. The buyer's agent busting ass day in and day out, bringing buyers through I mean, multiple they're homes. They're different. I think they're, they're totally different. different. They're, but yeah. they're, they're both worth their cut, but yeah. it's a different Every it's a deal type is of work, different, right? though. Yeah, Sometimes, every deal is different. you know, a buyer's agent goes one and done, and the client showed them the house that they found on Zillow, right? right? right. And they're like, I, I feel like we should get the house for cheaper because we right. found the house we on found. Zillow. Here's the part of that that I think is bullshit. In today's world, your 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 agent's probably not going to find your house because just as fast as yeah, it online. hits the market, you're yeah. seeing it on you're Zillow because right. yeah, that, right. that, that, yep. that's not what they're there for anymore. Mm-hmm. I believe that they're for, there to protect you on the contract, to negotiate for you, to put you in the best possible position right, to exactly. buy the house. To answer that's their the phone. Val- yeah, that's, that's their the value. value. For sure. It's not, they're not fine. Yeah. They're not having a pocket listing. No. They, they might, but like it's no. rare, right? So the reality is it's representation in a pretty – Substant- it's the largest potentially financial transaction most people are going to have. That, that right? and, and uh, a lot of times most emotional because you're buying a lifestyle. You're buying yeah. a home for your kids and yeah. uh, you close need- to school. Or, and you're you're right on, Paul. I mean, it's not the uh, driving around at how many houses or, or finding that house. with the, It's um, having the knowledge of the area where the buyer can say, hey, Brad, hey, Rye, what you know, what do you think about the uh, price? I yeah. mean, well, here, by the way, here's some comps. Here's what's sold. And so it's it's uh, putting a value on the home. It's it's negotiating, going to bat. It's uh, condition, looking at the condition of the home with the inspector and, and coaching them through um, and, know, and, what and, to look and for. And a buyer like who buys a house every seven years or five years doesn't have that acumen to understand. Uh, you know, even mo- a, for, even for the if most they part. have, uh, have a, 
a pretty good idea. Yeah, and you maybe still they've need been to through it yeah. a few times. Still, I, I would. Lot. You know, I would. If I, would I was, not. if I was buying in a different market, I would. I would use an agent. Yeah, for sure. Because you want to yeah. understand the market, and you yeah. also. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, it, probably one of the most under. Uh, valued value adds that an agent brings is their relationships, their inspectors, exactly. their lenders, their title companies, the network, right? yeah. their team to make sure that the deal gets done. The, and their reputation 100%. with the other agents. So if, if it's a competitive situation yeah. and there's multiple offers going into to a listing agent, you you want if you're representing yourself, it's critical. Yeah. You, you're like thrown thrown out immediately. But if you I mean, have a good agent that has a good reputation, you're yeah. You know, you're towards the top of the pile. And exactly. when you use that $500 guy, flat lister, <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> well, hey. Is he still around, by the way? <laughs> Probably. I, we won't name names, but I'm sure everyone's like, yeah. man, Nightmare. I love that guy, right? Exactly. <laughs> not, not, not really. Yeah. Nightmare. Yeah. Nightmare. So, yeah, so like, so this lawsuit is basically saying that, but I think it's the opposite. I think that 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 is critical in a home buyer's process to have that representation it's so important, especially for a first time. Like, think about you're a first time home buyer. You have all these lists of wants, and it's up to them to like. If it was up to them to like discern where they should live, how they you know tax, they don't know any of that, right? right? No. And having no. having the right team around you when you're buying a house is really important. Mortgage, uh, title, whatever it is, you got to create that team around you to get the proper proper and, uh, tutelage. Often, yeah. often people choose the <laughs> make the worst decision based upon a commission. Well, yeah. I feel bad yeah. for Aunt Sally, so you know, right. I don't want her to not get oh, this three percent, right? Aunt and it's Sally. like so Aunt Sally's like, I don't know Aunt an Sally. inspector or a mortgage or whatever, no. and like uh, that's just it's, uh, true. it's I, crazy. Unless I, it's Uncle Brad, then you're okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. exactly. But I, I agree. I mean, what Sal said is it's so true. You. An agent brings a team that's working for you. It's not always yeah. just that agent that's yeah. working for you on the buy side uh, or on the sell side. It's they have a team. They have mm -hmm. their title contact. They have their mortgage contact, which is a huge part of it, especially on the buy end. Making sure that agent is telling you, sit down with a mortgage yeah. rep, run through numbers. This is what you know to expect. What can you afford? What can't you afford? I mean, there's so many elements that go right. into that people it forget. Blows. Especially, like, if, if someone comes to you and it's like, all right, do you have an inspector that you want to work with? Yeah. Do you have a mortgage? Well, I got this pre-approval. Do you know what loan you're approved for? <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, FHA, I don't know. The guy didn't tell me. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It, and it's so, it's so yeah. like... Uh, People love. Who doesn't love buying homes? It's everywhere. It's on TV. It's it's such sexy. a sexy yeah, thing. Sexy, yeah. Buying a home, you get so caught up in just that house. There's so many other things that are part of that transaction mm -hmm. that you yeah. don't think about. You need a professional that's on your side it's, that's been through. Well, it, on million seen dollar everything. listing, I'm pretty yeah. sure there is. It's really easy. <laughs> no one house. Yeah, exactly. Show a house and you collect <laughs> it's 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 super, a couple videos. Have an open house with a thousand yeah, people in it. You're good. Super man. super sexy and then you on pick TV. Up two more deals. Yeah. yeah. I want to be that super stressful in real life, <laughs> and Just then you like, go yeah. back to work as a uh, lizard groomer. Yeah, who makes a million dollars a year. <laughs> oh How do you God. groom a lizard? I don't know. I like that. I might use I own a uh, small uh, child lizard. sticker store, <laughs> and <laughs> we got a budget of like seven and a half it's million. So true. <laughs> oh, it's like, where do these people what? come from? <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting. I, I think the value proposition today is a little bit different, but it, there's still a lot of value yeah. to having the. Pro I mean, it just it it blows my mind when someone uses someone that isn't. Like a professional for them, and they're just because they know them, and it's like, dude, they use them for the wrong again, reason. Again, it's the largest yeah. transaction of your life. Like, if you were on trial for murder, you'd probably like interview a couple like uh, lawyers, right, yeah. before you pick the one that you wanted. <laughs> right. Well, you're if you're about to spend two hundred thousand dollars, yeah. wouldn't you like get the proper? Res Anyways, I, yeah. I, that's my rant. But for the buyers out there, understand that. A real estate agent's free for you, and that, yep. that, that's the beauty of it. And that's what this guy's saying. It's not really fair. Well, and, and uh, you know, I've had that question from uh, customers, clients in the past where uh, they'll, you know, I'll answer it the same way you said it, Paul. Well, it's free to you. But the uh, customer or client on the other end, uh, the buyer, is going to say, well, it's built baked into the price. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is to remember – be baked into the sellers. Oh, price. got it, got it. Meaning, okay, yeah. uh, sellers, sellers paying uh, your They're gonna commission, bump it but we're going to yeah. bump it up. So I'm really paying for it. Doesn't it. work that way. I always ask him. I say, I guarantee, if you ask that seller if he thought he could sell his house or she could have sold his house uh, by owner without paying a commission, would they reduce it? By no, they're going to take no, the same they're, amount. They're <laughs> selling it by owner because they think they can yeah, save the money. They'll still out of that. So, right? uh, yeah, that's and, right. So you're going to buy it when, whether when you buy a Dyson at Target. Take me it's out of the, the same price as a, as a the website. The seller's right? going to get six. 
or the, the yeah. listing the, agent will get six exactly. then, and then right. yeah. double dip you. Exactly. So, yeah. you know. And, and you don't have representation. That's, that listing that's agent works just for the crazy. seller. They don't you work should for the not buyer. do Even for sale by owners, guys out there, it's a nightmare. When we get a deal that's for sale by owner, I mean, Sal, you just went through it. I just went through right. it. We're practically writing the contract and yeah. acting as the yeah. agent, or they're calling an agent, or the listing agent's doing all the work. Like, yeah. it, it, it's a nightmare because they don't understand how to sell and a home to your for the most point part. of yeah. trying to know like as much as you can about the business before you jump ships or whatever like to to other parts of the business like yeah. when i wrote this pa the other day full disclosure i'm not a realtor but <laughs> like told them that like yeah. get this check by a real estate attorney whatever you, fa- you facilitated yeah I, I helped him write the pa you broke the law. and then i had to talk to the seller <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he, he got it checked out by I'm, an agent I'm, right I'm, but I'm it was kidding. like totally kidding. It was like, man, this sucks. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm calling the seller. He's like, well, I don't know about you know eight days for inspection. I'm like, dude, yeah, that's just, just he lives yeah. in the house. Just sign it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it goes back to that commercial. Stay but in your again, lane, bro. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah I, hire I, your professional for each I was like, each, each job. But don't scamp on they the didn't want to pay stuff. No. You know, it's like, exactly. hey, I'm gonna have heart yeah. surgery. I'm just doing it on my own. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> well, so yeah. When yeah, you go to the doctor to figure something out, you don't. You don't say, I got this. I got. I'll stitch myself up. Yeah, got murder charges. I'm, I'm not saying we're myself. doctors. No, yeah. yeah, no, I get it. I get it. No, it's just interesting when people just try to save a penny. I don't. I, they live in a really like scarcity mindset. Like, there's, mm-hmm. dude, there's, you're, you're selling your house. You probably made like a lot of money on it. You're fine. Sell the house and move on, and, and pay the price because and you're going to get the proper thing. Uh, often, transaction, <laughs> right? Yeah. You, we do these fisbos, and the appraisal comes in, and it's like. Like yeah. there's another twenty G's in there that you could have just paid agents on, yeah, you know? buddy. Yeah. And this yeah. would be a hell of a lot less of a problem yeah. for me. Exactly. Yeah. You could have yeah. got more for your house. It wasn't marketed correctly. I mean, yeah. just there's a lot of good and bad. Yeah. So leaving money on the table. 100%. I, I I truly believe. Listen, we're going to see margin compression coming up. I mean, mm-hmm. it's going to happen. It's yep. it's happening as we speak. Uh, automation is creating a situation where we can do more volume. Yep. Volume will dictate the, the the compression of margins, which I get. That's fine. Because if you can do more, fine. I, I get it. At the same time, the value proposition that we offer in the real estate business is still the same, mm-hmm. if, if not higher, because it's even yeah. more complicated now with regulations and everything. So right. um, th- th- let's not lose sight of the fact that what we do and what agents do, what loan officers do, title companies, it's very intricate, and it, it, there's, there's, the, you need professionals doing that. You're not going to do it on your own. No. Right. It's just not happening, no. no matter what happens. Where's that lawsuit at? In, in Minnesota. In, I mean, Minnesota. Like in, in the process, like, has it... Is it, uh, is it just filed? Has it gone anywhere? Uh, I think it just got filed. Um, I'm I don't really know. interested to follow that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to read that, Paul. I don't, I don't have all the details on it, but uh, this is what he it's said. Certainly interesting. This is what the complaint said: the conspiracy has saddled home sellers with a cost that would be borne by the buyer in a competitive market. Uh, moreover, because most buyers and brokers will not show homes to their clients where the seller is offering a lower buyer broker commission or will show homes with higher commission offers first, sellers are incentivized when making the required blank and non-negotiable offer to procure the buyer broker's cooperation by offering a higher commission. Basically, they're saying, uh, if, I'm a, if I'm a buyer's, uh, if I'm showing houses, I'm not going to go show you a house where they, right? Yeah. Where they I, I wish, that. yeah. And well, and, we don't have that control. We, uh, agent want, a client wants to see a house. They're going to they're going to sell the house, house, dude. They're it's, not going to do it. Yeah, that's, what it is. that's right. A the, good agent, at least, right? Yeah, that's exactly. right. And the buyer, yeah, the buyer's going to dictate which houses mm-hmm. they want to look, look at. But um, you know, there's ways around that <clears throat> to uh, to make sure that the buyer's agent is being covered th- their full commission. Meaning, yeah. if if they're out show, there there might be a buyer broker agreement in place with the buyer. And the agent suggesting that a full uh, X percent would be received for for my services, yeah. W- and and part or all of that can be coming from the seller. Meaning, if they show a, a home that's uh, half of what they're typically yeah. Yeah. receiving, then the buyer's going to come up with the other half. There's always all, right. what people don't get. Also, everything's negotiable. That's when, true. When you put together right. the contract, exactly. you can put anything in there. It's mm-hmm. a contract, mm-hmm. and you guys can all decide on what you want to do. So, right. But it's an, it's yeah. interesting. I, like it's gonna, like this guy. Just, I, I must have been really pissed and just filed the class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, something yeah. happened. It sits around. Feels pretty strongly yeah. about it. Yeah. 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 
So, guys, we're going into the spring season. Uh, it's Woo-hoo. 40 degrees outside. It's going to be about 65 tomorrow. Yeah. We're probably going to see tops down in Michigan. People are going to open up their pools. On cars. We're going to see a lot of shorts. Uh, all of a sudden, open. you know, it's crazy because all of a sudden now, like, it's yeah. 65 and we can wear shorts. And Paul's attitude yeah. is so much better right I know. now. Yeah, it's, it's I was like going through total some se- turn, dude, man. We did the show for, like, two months straight on Wednesdays where we barely made it into the office because every Wednesday yeah. it was, like, you know. It, there was, like, a month long we, where we, yeah. we had Wednesday, office Wednesday, meetings Wednesday. and stuff in, in our office tour yeah we had to cancel like three every times every wednesday in a row. yeah right wednesday wednesday, wednesday. Yeah. wednesday you know, is, and, not good so i was going through severe depression seasonal depression <laughs> uh i wasn't fun to be around <laughs> Still uh, my wife almost left me i mean so, <laughs> yeah. my whole life almost fell apart but now we're good yeah you can't appreciate the uh spring and summer if you don't have to go so sal said something very poignant he goes if we lived in san diego or san francisco like we would just get so numb to that but we get yeah. we get actually like a little bit of a high that's true. when it gets nice yeah. out we would lose that i'm like mm-hmm. you know what you're right I would agree. Get all like, four seasons we get a nice little yeah. high when when fall Kinda comes nice, and it's a nice right? cool yeah. fall day out yeah. yeah. break the heat and then get the snow and then winter just lasts eight months yeah. Then also, <laughs> <gives it. laughs> yeah. well, from December 26th till you know St. Yeah. Patty's Day. Yeah, yeah. Just, this is the tail end. Unless you're getting out of town, and yeah. in our business, that's like yeah, you know, yeah. The, hanging yeah. The skates right. up. Got it. You, know, you got to take good. a break. I mean, but that flip is work. that's uh, switches flip so quickly it is. now. Uh, which which is there's probably no more this spring. Week. There's no more spring. Like yeah. you go through like this. The air this smells different. Like you yeah. can yes. smell things. Yeah. Not in our Those are buyers like diesel fuel and buyers out there. Yeah. So my my point is, guys, we're going into the spring season. I believe personally that we're going to have a really strong spring on the in our market. Our market specifically i think uh, nationwide i think a couple of re- reasons are uh the, the housing prices are good uh, they're they're stable yeah. we have jobs and the price of money is super cheap yep. right to borrow right now Still, yeah. uh and i think yeah. in the high-end market that you, maybe you guys could talk about we're seeing a lot of movement up there and that kind of dictates in my mind you know if, the, if those guys uh, and girls are like feeling comfortable with the market you bet. there's something going on right they're, they're probably really in touch with what's happened financially yeah. right consumer yeah. confidence definitely so what do you guys yeah, see, what do you guys see in the spring I you know I th- I think we're going to see a great spring. I know there's been um, everyone has their different perception of, of where things are going to go, Opinions, but I think this yeah. spring is going to be great. I I, uh, I sent out an email to the office actually yesterday saying, hey, this is time to go get ready to run and run fast because yeah. you know, it, it's a standard Michigan. We have this slowdown, which I know you and I talked about earlier. Yeah. pretty much from November, you talk about Thanksgiving through this time of the year where it's slow and and you have to work on your pipeline. You have to stay in touch with your clients. If you don't. You're starting to freak out because you don't yeah. know what's coming, yeah. when the next check's coming. When a lot you're of agents right now are sweating bullets. But it's time now, <laughs> and it's time to run hard because this is when you make your your yeah. your, your piece. Yeah. Um, and it's something that we're going to see here. I think it, it market-wise, it's going to be a good market. I think we're going to see a good year, a good summer. Um, you know, People talk about, it, well, we're going to see a slowdown a little bit. That might be... You know, down the road, um, I think again. I think we're going to see a good year. It's the I pie, think it's right? The pie. How much that pie can you get? I think we're going to see a good year, though. I, I, I definitely do. I think you know, it might level off in certain cases in some areas, but overall, it's going to be a great year. Uh, I'm not super in touch with the markets from the real estate side, but I, I feel like it's already coming. I feel like I'm seeing more listings, more action. My Facebook's yeah. blowing up with with sold, listed, moving, all yeah. this stuff. I feel like it's already heating up, and it's it's March. Yeah. I think that the reality mm-hmm. is is that you know if you look and not to be pessimistic because i mean the reality is is that inventory is probably lower right now than it is last it is year, lower right? but, but so days yeah, on market exactly. it's not bad either though so right. things are turning yeah. yeah but but the reality is if you're going to have a good spring it's because of you right exactly. like, at least yeah. on the real estate Nailed side it. so <laughs> you know it's kind of like <laughs> it, if you say yeah you know i think it's gonna be a good year it probably will be yeah. Right, if you right. think about it like that, but if you are positive, like right? one of the uh, component of uh, you have to be in stuff's the contagious. Yeah. It's you contagious. People yeah. want to be around you. People want to work with you. You're you're going to see well, the brighter so side funny. of everything and work hard. It's 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 it, way different. It's than crazy. We have you know quite a few uh, relationships with real estate agents. How we get yeah. our business, and it's you like do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little bit. It was only us, but yeah. it's like I'm sorry guys. You can tell who's <laughs> who's in that right mindset, right? When they call and. Man, uh, it's slow, dude. I uh, I, I sold like know. two homes in December. Yeah. And really haven't done anything yeah, since. Know. It's like, well, not good. Because yeah. you, are, he's like, there's no inventory. 
You know, it's that's like the excuse, and it's opposed yeah. to like, well, I'm gonna figure out how to help people out and help exactly. them meet their goals and blah blah blah, and then you end up making a sale. Dude, but, I, I think about back in like 2008, like I was having the best year ever in 2008. Yeah. I was yeah. going into like this this meltdown, and I was like <laughs> banging it out. You're like, no, because it, it, there's there's opportunity in every scenario. Yeah, every scenario. I know people that like made a killing off like uh, foreclosures and right. sales, like you yeah. can find ways to yeah. like make the make the there's a lot of money. There's always a market. Yeah. Right. And it shrinks 5%, yeah. but you grow your market share 2%. Yeah. You know, you're going to do okay. You have to adapt. 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 Any change, yeah. any change yeah. in adapt. the market, you're right. Any change up or down creates opportunity. And mm-hmm. I think you exactly. took, took advantage of that, Paul. You're the, right. So. The people that make excuses and, and blame everything else or have the negative yeah. attitudes. And it's like Paul, years and years ago, when I first met Paul, one of the things that uh, he was up on his. Uh, soapbox preaching to a team about <laughs> literally. I think it's, I just stand on my stuck chair, yeah. in my what head. What did I do? What did I do? Tell me. He was talking about. He was talking to his team, and he's like, "This is our pond, right? You're all ducks in this pond, and this is our pond. And if any of you guys have a bad, negative attitude in here." It's like shitting in our pond, and we're all swimming around. <laughs> yeah. Do not shit in my pond. <laughs> Sounds like hilarious. You First that. of all, yeah. you screwed it up. It's, it's fishbowl. Whatever it was, I don't. Yeah, it the was message was was don't great. shit in my fishbowl. Yeah, don't like shit in my fishbowl. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was better. great, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I mean I've, I've used it a few times in, yeah. in the past since then, but it's, it's, it's uh, great. because it, look, it's contagious. Like if someone's around you being negative, like you're gonna you're gonna start being like you don't want to hang out with that person. No, dude. But if someone's like, let's go, like we're we're rocking and rolling, like that, you know, let's get the horse, let's go. And often like. Like the the person who's freaking out right now because I, I don't have anything going on and you know so and so is like killing it yeah. right mm-hmm. uh, yeah. but they won't ask so and so why they're killing it right right mm-hmm. they're just kind of like uh, yeah. why not me and yeah. Yeah, it's oh, like, he's doing better than me and he because he knows yeah. this person oh, it's they're feeding him the leads yeah hang the skates up and go manage a McDonald's dude like get out of here you're right like you got to be able to look past and say because usually when you're in that mode. It's it's your deficiency. Yeah. Yeah. Something's going on in you, right? Because right. if people are succeeding around you yeah. and you're not, it's probably because of you. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, 100%. Right? Yeah, people yeah. don't realize how much they affect. They're the ones that have control of how things affect you, how the outside world affects you. You can either yeah. let it be negative and be down and out or yeah. you can be positive. It's all on how you look at it, what mm-hmm. lens are you looking through. Yeah. And letting – you know, everyone has crappy people in your life, uh-huh. people that they could bring you down. But are you going to let that happen? Are you going to let them have a bigger – piece of the pie of your life or are you not yeah. well, who do you want to who, who do you want to influence you and who do you want to be which is, is why you're going to stop hanging out with your brother yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's trouble you know he, ryan and i uh over the last a little over a year uh we've been working with a uh, business coach okay. we meet okay, with yeah. her meet yeah. with her once a week and um you know coaches in general i don't believe tell you too much that you don't already know. Yeah, but they sure. hold you accountable. Yeah, yeah. 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 They the second voice. Pull. Yeah, it is. And uh, one of the things that she continues to remind us is that's right. Opportunity. Stay positive. And uh, I think it's really paid off in, in how yeah, we it, look at it. It's important, dude. It's it's, so. it's it's in our business mindset yeah, is so mindset, paramount. It's it. so paramount to your success because you can literally will yourself into success if you mm-hmm. just believe it. Yep. You just mm-hmm. work towards it every day. Yeah. It's when you I get agree. down and like you're like, this isn't working, and all of a sudden you just stop, and three months later well, you have no business, right? It's yeah. physically yeah. healthy, too. Like, yeah. you know, like when you're stressed out, like yesterday I was like, I had like, that was a, a rough rhino shit horn yesterday. pop up on my head. I was so stressed. Sal was, was like, like Oscar the Grouch. I'm like, what's going on? No, I wasn't even talk to me, you know? And like, I had to go home. I kind of had to shut off, yeah. sleep, and be like, all right. Yeah, we're back. Whatever. We're going to get it done. Yes. We're going to figure it out. I wasn't we even in do, the office. Right? Just talking to Sal on the phone, I was like, you are not. I'm like, Sal, how you doing? Right He's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, do you like the yellow or the blue yeah. logo? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. help. But you look at all the successful people out there in the world. They all failed. They all struggled. And that's how you learn. Yeah. Yes. If it was yeah. easy, everyone would be doing it. And you wouldn't learn. You wouldn't grow. You wouldn't evolve. Yeah. You can't you win without have... losing. Exactly. Yeah. You have yeah. to have those tough times. And how do, you, how do you handle that? How do you? What do you mm-hmm. do? Do you just kind of put your head down and complain and blame it on someone else? Or do you, mm-hmm. you, you brush yourself off, get up, learn from it, and grow? And yeah. that's that's I think what separates the, the the everyone out there is are the good from the bad or the 
the successful from the non-successful. How are you handling these these hurdles? Because they're in every industry. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. hurdles that you're yeah, gonna yeah, sure. you're gonna have brought up to you, and yeah. are you taking it as a great learning experience? And I'm not saying you're you're gonna have days where you're gonna grow Ryan, you're gonna grow a little horn on <laughs> yeah. you. That happens, <laughs> and that's totally fine. But that allows you to kind of step back and well, have how do you your rebound? Is the question, exactly. Right? How do you rebound from that? Which it sometimes yeah. it crushes people, but so, you got to take it and run with it. Yeah. And learn. So we're at right the point up. of the show where we do three questions. Uh, oh. We do it on every uh, every show. First question is always the same, and the first question is what scares you so you can either you, you don't answer like the same answer right so he i'd me. say I, I honestly what scares me oh are we talking uh are we talking business or uh, first whatever, whatever. Uh, one thing that that worries me not so much scares me but uh i do worry a little bit about it is affordability is is the home price of the for, the affordability yeah i can see that um you know that these prices have bounced back from the recession so quickly, mm -hmm. um, little too quick for my comfort. I will tell you there was a correct like it stopped right. We were going yeah. hot and heavy. Yeah. And it was going nuts two years ago, right? Yeah, it, multiple hours. Ten, ten. Now I feel like it's starting. We're starting to get more comfortable. But if we start seeing that again, yeah, I agree yeah. with you. We, yeah. I don't want to overheat. But yeah, what scares? What so scares I'm, you, I'll go right? on a different aspect. I, what scares me is technology has jumped into our industry, which is awesome, and I love it, and I think it's great. But I, yeah. it scares me that that. Our industry is going to go away from the the um, customer service side, and it's going to go more automated, and it's going to go. Everyone wants to save a few bucks and do a few things, a few extra things, or a few less things, make it easier, but they don't realize what they're losing until it's gone. Yeah. And that goes for having a great mortgage rep who's yeah. on the phone walking through the yeah. process. Same with realtors. So it scares me with technology going too fast and too far, yeah. to where it's going to cut out that that um, customer mm -hmm. service that you need, that hand holding, which it, I think it'll, is a it'll part go, of everything. It'll go there until some people have some horror stories, and then all of a sudden it'll happen. Like, I mean, for, sure. for instance, I'll just give you an example. We'll move on to the next question. Like think Quicken, right? Back when we when I was at Quicken, like people, it was innovative, and you could do it online, and you. Now people don't want to get hammered with a thousand phone calls. They no. don't want to do. They want to meet the person, right? So it's kind yeah, of been right. a backlash even in that. Exactly. So I think we'll we'll see something go, like the pendulum swing both ways at yeah. some point. Yeah. Uh, second question: What is one trait in your brother that you wish you had that you don't? Oh, and you got to answer. Good each one. Man. I like his, hair, <laughs> his hairline. You didn't even go over his hairline. hairline. <laughs> He's had a great hairline. I mean, yeah. pretty simple. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, for me, yeah. I would say Brad knows everything. He was. Uh, um, wow! He was there we go. He, oh. No, I'm dead serious. There we go. Are we recording? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the whole world's here. He didn't like it, and it was it, it, it's tough on him. And I give him a lot of props. Is he was he was our dad's second man for a long time. Yeah. And he's been in the business 15 plus years, and he was. He knows everything, and that's something that I'm still learning and going through. He's the guy I call all the time, and, and so I'm sure he's like, yeah. God damn, it's Ryan calling again. But no, no, and, no, no. I'm so fortunate to have him. Yeah. To, to, to ask those questions, but I he has the knowledge. He's been through the ups and downs, and he's he's learned in my from the best, which is yeah. our dad. So we've, but, we've had some fun working working together. for sure, dude. Yeah. For sure, right. yeah, so. I can see that. But that's you like but you have the hairline. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trade knowledge for a hairline any day. Are you kidding? <laughs> Man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, last question is: If you could be one animal in the animal kingdom, what would it be and why? A wolf. Wolf. Oh, All right. that's a good one. That's a like that <laughs> one. All right, but, but why? why? Uh, oh man, I knew you were gonna w. ask that. That was yeah. a quick answer for I not know, having right? a Y behind I it. Know. Well, I, I mean, wolf is last name. I jumped the gun. I think. <laughs> I, I, I just got excited. I said wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a wolf head. is a I mean, cool. Letters, I mean, let's name would be a good answer. It's cool too. Shit. Like, yeah. yeah, let's just say it's One cool wolf shit. Pack. I, I think from Brad, that, that's thinking hard. Look at Brent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah God, you dude, stumped me. Look at I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty tough. You it's know, there's man. not there's Brad's not someone like else pelican. out there who's dictating how you live your life, how you how you you're out there. I guess from a wolf standpoint, they live and do their own. There's there isn't too many that hunt them. You know, I feel. It, 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 from my eyes, you stay focused on what you want to do. What's your niche? What's your product? What are you delivering to the clients out there? And not like worrying about what everyone else is doing. I know we talked about it a lot today. Yeah. You can get so caught up in that minutia and, and all yeah. that stuff, what's going on in the industry, but more yeah. on be who you, true to who you are and what is getting you to so where you're you a spirit be. animal. I actually, well. I, guess. I actually like wolf. <laughs> I like wolf more and more that. because yeah. the thing about their pack animal, they, pack, they rely pack, on the team around them, right? Yeah. Family yeah. is huge. They're yeah. smart as shit. I like yeah. that answer a lot. Yeah, I mean, we're, that's a good answer. We're the big <laughs> right, thing Brad, that we got? push at the office is family. Brad's like family's huge, and not only obviously we grow up and we have a huge family within ourselves and the company but that's we i look at our all of our agents as family and that's huge to me because yeah. it, it builds our unbelievable culture that we have there it's but a big deal it's important it's a big deal dude. having the right people For around sure. you and like being a support system i think is huge the wolf pack. brad's yeah. a duck 
A dog. <laughs> he shit my pond, That's man. A squirrel. <laughs> He's a squirrel. <laughs> a squirrel. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here comes the jokes. Yeah. I don't even want to answer that after that one. <laughs> you got to answer. It's part of the show. Oh, we can't move on. Man, I, we can't leave. I'd have to say, you know what? The only thing that's been on my mind is is a fish. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. See? Here we go. It's like a parade. Well, just because I'm going, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting down to Florida in a couple of weeks. And, and one thing what I love. What kind of fish? Uh, yeah, marlin? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, fish. let's go with marlin. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to grabbing the fishing pole and tuning it out for That's a couple awesome. days. That's so always good, That's, man. Nice. That's yeah. always good. That's all I'm hey. thinking about. What about you, Jessica? We've never asked you, Jessica. What would you be? What kind of animal? Lion. Lion. Oh, oh. That's always a big lion. That came out quick. She's yeah. thought of it. She's going to run the show. Yeah, she, yeah. Yeah. she is running the show. A lion or a lion? What, are they, what is it? Oh, uh, lioness. Yeah, I guess lioness because lion, I'm a girl. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. It'd be weird if you just angry. <laughs> yeah. You'd have, bit, you'd have the bits and all. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> what would you be, Paul? What would I be? Oh, oh man. Man, I, you know, I've I never... I'd be being like a macaque or something. Just annoying, like... Oh, what? <laughs> just a macaque. Like, yeah. The like, bird. Like, like, right? You could suck no, my macaque. Those, like, Paul would be a peacock. <laughs> way off? No, so, it's like one of those little monkeys. Oh, yes. <laughs> like those I'm annoying sorry. monkeys yeah, yeah, stealing, with the, with stealing people's ass? cigarettes and whatnot. I could see that. Smoking. Sitting in the corner. A macaque. I don't even know how you know that. You just answered for him. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take the macaque. <laughs> I'll be the macaque. All right. So All right, why guys. you want to be that? Well, I would the macaque because I can smoke cigarettes and <laughs> yeah. steal people's stuff. <laughs> so uh, kind of fun. <laughs> tell the you audience how they get get a hold of you guys, man. Uh, you guys do a really good job. Thank you so much for doing the show. Honestly, you guys were Thank a lot of fun. Guys. So yeah. tell the audience how they can get a hold of you if they need need your services. Go ahead. So um, HollandHunterRealtors.com. That's our website. Yeah. Um, you know, we're downtown Birmingham. Come and Come see, see us, us. four four two yeah. South Old Woodward. Phone number six four four thirty five hundred. Obviously two four eight area code. Yeah. Um, but you can find us all over the internet. Just type in Holland Hunter Realtors. Yeah, and you'll come find on. Us we we uh, renovated the office about uh, a handful of years ago. It looks great. We'd love to show it off. Awesome. We'll bring you a cup of coffee up front. Yeah. Whatever. We got so, social great, media. Any great social media room. outlet, you'll you'll uh, great you'll find closing it. room. Yeah, they you, guys have, yeah, yeah. Right. you guys know that. Right? Long yeah. really well. table. Yeah. It's, like it's, nice. it's a good room to be <laughs> you in. A, you guys have a great group. We, honestly, guys, you guys were awesome we're on the show. We're fortunate to have this group. That you, we have. Yeah. We really so are. when are we well, doing this again? This is fun. Well, I, dude, I it's like your it. call. If you, guys, if you guys actually want to come back, it's rare. Nobody ever even calls us after <laughs> <No>. this. <laughs> <laughs> Except, you know, you know we cut it every Wednesday, and once in a while, one time we had someone just pop in in the middle of a oh, show. Yeah. Really? Like, hey. oh, yeah. Raffin, Tony Raffin, you guys know who he is. <laughs> yeah. So it was great. I loved it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, obviously, Sal, do the do the thing where, about the, where they can find us. You said you're going to handle that. Oh, yeah. Out. Anywhere. Google it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's like got this whole list of things. Uh, just, uh, all right. I fucking hate you. All right, let's go. Get <laughs> your <laughs> iTunes, Anywhere, Google, Google Play, it. figure it out. All right. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you, Jessica. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank Have a great you. day. Bye, guys. You've been listening oh, to Inside Real Estate.